Hi, I'm Jessica, an engineer at Liquid Instruments, and today I'm going to walk you through setting up an event counter. This can be used for a wide range of applications from detecting over voltage events to counting photons. In this video, we'll be using the Moku platform from Liquid Instruments, which is a reconfigurable suite of test and measurement instruments integrated into a single FPGA-based device that enables faster, more efficient testing in multi-instrument test setups. For this application, we'll be using the Moku Time and Frequency Analyzer. You may have heard of this instrument referred to as a universal counter, a time interval analyzer, a time tagger, and more, but it accomplishes the same function, detecting events and analyzing intervals between them with very high precision. To set up an event counter, we need to first configure an event detector that measures our signal on a rising edge. This starts our interval. If we want to measure the duration of our pulse, we can set up another event to take place on the falling edge. Alternatively, for applications like photon counting, we can set up an event to trigger when we see an event on one channel, and another to end our interval when we see an event arrive on a second channel, such as in a Hanbury brown twist configuration. Today, we're going to configure the latter. When we receive an event on channel 1, we start our interval. When we receive an event on channel 2, we end our interval. This will allow us to analyze the time between events. To set this up in software, let's generate a test signal to measure first. Using multi-instrument mode for Moku Pro, I'll add a waveform generator to slot 1, a waveform generator to slot 2, and a time and frequency analyzer to slot 3. In the first waveform generator, I'll generate noise signals to imitate the random but Gaussian distribution of photon arrival times. Set the amplitude to 500 millivolts on both channels. This will serve as our modulation source for our pulse trains. In the second waveform generator, I'll generate a simple 1 volt peak-to-peak -peak 10 megahertz square wave with a 5% duty cycle on channel A, and set phase modulation using input A as the source, and set that to 10 degrees per volt modulation depth. This is simulating a pulse train with random pulse arrival times, as we would observe in a Hanbury brown twist experiment. Of course, this is just an example, so we won't see exactly the same behavior, but we can still exhibit how to configure our photon counting setup. On channel B, I'll do the same, but also set a phase offset of 180 degrees to simulate the time delay introduced on one of the channels in a Hanbury brown twist setup. We'll use input B, our noise signal, as the modulation source, and then sync the phase of the waveforms. The time and frequency analyzer is where we'll set up our event counter. First, we need to configure our event detectors. For our first event, let's set event A to trigger on the rising edge of input 1 at 0 millivolts on channel 1. For our second event, let's set event B to trigger on 0 millivolts on channel 2, also using the rising edge of the signal. We're going to leave this in continuous acquisition mode, but you could also choose to use a gated or windowed acquisition. Now, let's set up our interval analyzer. For this application, we're measuring time between events or between photon arrivals, so we'll measure from event A to event B. To view the time intervals, we can verify our signal with built-in real-time statistics. We can view the current interval measurement, maximum, minimum, mean, and count. On the histogram, we can auto-scale and view our interval distribution. From the histogram, you can gather important information about your events or your source. If you're measuring photons, how is the photon source behaving? Are the photons bunched together, or are they exhibiting anti-bunching? The real-time histogram allows us to observe these phenomena in real-time, without needing to export and process our data first. We can choose to log these time-tagged events with the embedded data logger, or choose to export live or log data. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to configure an event counter. The Moku TFA is available on all Moku devices. Visit liquidinstruments.com to learn more or request a demo. See you next time.